Cricut Design Space for Desktop version 7.8 is rolling out now. It consists mainly of print and cut changes and over a dozen bug fixes. Let's go over the print and cut changes and a few of the other fixes and features. Be sure to stick around to the end to hear the change that's happening on my channel. Print and cut changes. This did change the maximum size of the print and cut area. Unfortunately, this does not allow us to do full page designs yet. They added the option to use A4 paper for print and cut. A4 paper is slightly narrower and slightly longer than the standard eight and a half by 11 letter sized paper that's common in the US. This is great for Cricut users in most of the world where A4 is more common. To select your preferred paper size, you'll click on the hamburger menu here on the top left, go into your settings and select the size of your choice from the drop down menu. You can also change it on the canvas and on the prepare screen. Since A4 paper is similar in size to 8.5 by 11 letter paper, the size of the design doesn't change much. With letter paper, your maximum size is 6.75 by 9.25. With A4, it's 6.51 by 9.93. If you have a design on your canvas that's too large for the print and cut area, you'll see this small caution sign in the layers panel. When you click on it, a pop-up opens that lets you know why your machine can't process that image. This example is because the image is larger than 9.25. It tells me to reduce the image size, or I can click on the link to change the page size. If I resize it, the caution sign goes away. But if I wanted to keep this at the 9.75 width, I can click the change paper size link. It opens that setting window here on the canvas where you can change your page size. For the design at this size, changing it to A4 works, but it won't always. You also have to make sure your printer can handle the other size paper and you have it available to use with your Cricut. Then we'll click make it. Since this is the first time I've gotten to this screen since the update, it lets me know to edit the selections for each material with the dropdown. For this example, it doesn't do anything, but with a smaller design, you can change the page size here as well. Once it's situated where you want it, you'll click continue. Step one, where it says to print, you'll see the page size written out. When you click send to printer, now the dialog box will only show the page that's going to print instead of showing the page on the machine map as it did before. You'll see the page size here again. I don't have a printer connected to my Mac, so it won't let me print, but you can see that the rest of the settings are the same. I normally add bleed and use the system dialog because when you're using print then cut, most of the time you want the best printing quality your printer can. Let's briefly cover the other important parts of this update. There should be an improvement to when Cricut auto updates preventing it from updating when you're in the middle of cutting a project, updating the firmware, or setting up a new product. Finally, there are 14 bug fixes listed. As usual, some are frustrating and seem like a waste of time, and others seem more valuable. I've linked the release notes in the description if you want to read all of it. The one that I've heard the most frustration about is how the Explore Air 2 machines weren't working because of firmware issues. This should fix it. If you're new here, my name is Ruth. This is Hank's Maker Mentor, where I help you learn how to make with videos about Cricut software updates, new products, and project tutorials. If you want to see a walkthrough of other design space updates, go ahead and click on this playlist. If you want to learn more about using Print and Cut with your Cricut, check out this playlist. For those of you who have subscribed or regularly watch my videos, I want to thank you for your support and your time. I know it's valuable and let you know that I'm changing my normal upload day to Sunday because of my kids' schedule. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye.